Hi. You want to make comics but don't know how to make a satisfying story? Stick around and I'll help you. Before I get started, I want you to understand that my series on creating stories for comics works for all genres. Superheroes, space operas, horror, westerns, romances, you name it. During this series, I will explain various master plots. Among them are the quest, adventure, pursuit, rescue, escape, revenge, and many more. But first we need to understand the difference between plot and story. Story is made up of two forces, plot and character. These two affect everything in a story. You probably have all kinds of characters living in your head, but what to do with them? You have to have a plot. Plot is structure. It's the skeleton that holds together the story. All the details hang on the bones of the plot. But plot is not a static object. It's an organic creature that grows in your mind as you develop it. Every choice you make affects it. You as a comic creator have all kinds of ideas swirling around in your head. But how do you put it down on paper? How do you do it? Without structure, you're just going to wander aimlessly around until... And then you get tired of it and you say, I'm exhausted. I don't know what to do with this characters. Arrgh. If you understand what type of plot your ideas work within, then you can form them into a coherent story. Plots have different types of patterns. If you understand those patterns, then you could take one or maybe even two, adapt them, and use them to fit your own ideas. So let's get back to the difference between story and plot. A story is a chronicle of events, and if you make those events interesting enough, then the readers will want to know what comes next. Plot is more than that. It tells your reader why things happened. It is cause and effect in action. A complete story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. The beginning sets up the situation. What do your characters want? And why do they want it? The middle shows the challenges and barriers to achieving these goals. The protagonist has great problems, and these conflicts create tension. And without tension, there is no drama. The end contains the climax the satisfying resolution of all the challenges that you put your protagonist through. And honestly, how many times have you taken a comic book and thrown it across the room and said, well, that was a waste of my time and money? In session two, I'll explain the plot for the quest.